Previously, we discussed how to do a partial payment on a check for an invoice that's been posted. Here's the window, the Edit Payables Check window, that you can perform that task in. And when you click on the Apply window, you could scroll down and see where we applied $140 on this invoice to a $142.30 invoice. That left a remaining balance of $2.30. Now, if I want to write off that $2.30, I would do it at the same time I'm doing the partial payment. In the write-off field, I will click on the amount I want to write off, $2.30. And then I'll click OK. And when I post this transaction or write this check, it's going to automatically write off $2.30 on the invoice. Now, how does it know which account to use? It first looks at the vendor maintenance card under Accounts and it looks on this line to see which account to use. If this account is left blank, it then goes to the administrative window. Under Setup, Posting, Posting Accounts. I'll change the display to Purchasing, and then it looks here to see which account to use. So the write-off of $2.30 I'm performing now will go to account number 000 670100, the write-off expense account. Another thing to keep in mind is that vendors could be set up to not allow for write-off, so you want to make sure that your vendor is set up. In the vendor card, under Options, there's the write-off line. You can have no write-offs allowed, an unlimited amount, or for this vendor we said write-offs are allowed but for no more than $5. Let's close out the vendor card and pull our payment back up. Now when I print this check and post the check, $140 will be the amount of the check and it will write off the remaining $2.30. Hope this helps. Thanks.